I'm Jennifer Jangles, and I'm a licensed designer for Sysix. So I grew up in Kokomo, Indiana, and I lived with my mom, dad, and brother, and grew up sewing, crafting, and swimming. Lots of swimming, we had a pool. And I went to Indiana University and got my BFA in ceramics. I'm now married and have two children. I have uh, two boys, Fletcher, who's 15 in high school and is a fantastic oboe player. And he's in the marching band. And football and marching band has become my weekend hobby because of him, and it's pretty awesome. And then my youngest son is Berkeley, and he's 13, and he is in love with sea turtles. And so recently we went on a sea turtle vacation to Florida and watched nestlings hatch and sea turtle releases and all sorts of stuff with him. So it was super fun. Where's your sea turtle guy? <laughs> oh, he would die if I got one of those. Oh, he would be so excited. <laughs> I, I like sea life, all fish, and um, I adore tide pools. It's one of my, it's actually one of our family jokes because if there's a tide pool, I'm usually right there and chasing them around and uh, taking pictures, loads and loads of pictures. So anytime we go to the beach and there's tide pools, my family knows to leave me alone and I'm gonna be there for a few hours taking pictures. I have just this inner need to be making things at all times. I am always thinking up new ideas and my hands need to be moving and creating something. I have been sewing and crafting since I was little. I started sewing um, with my toy sewing machine when I was about four years old and with upholstery fabric and burnt that machine so quickly that my mom loaned me hers and let me take it and uh, I was a big 4-H girl when I was younger and that was always my go-to project was to create a softie or a doll with my own patterns. One of the benefits of crafting is being able to give away what I've made. I've given things to family members that I knew that I could still see <laughs> and keep an eye on and remember that I made it, but uh, no, I, it makes people happy when I, when I give things away. I graduated from college with my ceramics degree and um, had a job that I did not like and it was just so stressful that I quit and immediately started making ceramic tiles and mosaics. Got a tent and went out on the road selling my mosaics and tiles at art fairs. And that slowly led to ceramic beads and from beads, I made jewelry, and I wrote a book about uh, making ceramic beads, and uh, just continued from there. I was aware of Sissix. We approached each other kind of at the same time. <laughs> I guess it was just meant to be the, that we come together. I, I visited Sissix's booth at Quilt Market and saw a little stuffed bunny and immediately my brain started just whirling with ideas of little softies that I thought needed to be made into dyes for, for people to sew. I love Sissix because the dyes cut accurate and so no matter what you're going to make, it comes out cut correctly. You don't have the stress of knowing if something is, is going to work or not. And the other reason I love Sissix is I I have a need to make multiples of things when I craft. I don't usually make one of a bear. I make 10 bears. And so Sissix and the dyes really help me to be able to do that without spending a ton of time cutting all the fabrics. I have three things that I would guess that people would not know about me. Um, I'm obsessed with weather and I would have been a meteorologist if I wasn't an artist. <laughs> uh, always have loved uh, storms and, and things like that. Uh, second, I am a diehard Georgia football fan now since moving to Georgia and have a giant blow-up bulldog for my front yard on Saturdays when there's games. Third, some people might know, but I restored a vintage Thero Scotty camper and my family and I took it out west for a month um, on a big out west adventure. And 
Uh, for those of you who are sewers, you will appreciate that uh, on our Out West adventure, one day the jiggling of the camper when we were driving locked the door and it was jammed and we couldn't get it open. So the boys and I left and um, went for a walk around house and I came back and found my husband with a terrified look on his face. He had my sewing, good sewing scissors shoved into the lock of the camper door opening the camper. <laughs> he knew he was in trouble, but it was his only option. <laughs> and it was like, it was the only thing he had. And he was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, my husband is a geography professor at University of Georgia. And um, he loves to camp and surf and, uh, and just go to the beach too. And he wants a VW bus so badly to take all over and I want something bigger so I can have a sewing and craft studio with it. <laughs> um, I've had lots of different studios over the years and this is by far my favorite studio that I'm working in right now and it was actually our two-car garage and we put drywall up in front of the door, I put in a window and a door and it's so bright and airy and it's got a cement floor so I can make a mess and and don't have to worry about it and I just love it. I don't listen to a lot of music actually. I work in silence during the day just because my brain is going so fast that I need complete quiet to concentrate. So the music drowns out the voices in your head. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and the entire family is like I can't believe you sit down there all day in quiet. <laughs> I've, most people know this about me, that I've always had a crush on John Mellencamp. I worked at a flower shop uh, all through college, and I occasionally got to deliver flowers to John Mellencamp's house, too. <laughs> totally dorky. <laughs> if you're just getting started in crafting or sewing and, and you're intimidated, I say just go for it. I, the projects are easy. The dies that I have are made for beginners and experienced sewers, but they're, they're super simple and you don't really need a lot of skills to put them together and have a great project. So I don't, I don't think you need to fear the quarter inch seam or knowing how to work your machine perfectly. Just jump in and try it and I think you'll be surprised at the success that you have. <laughs>